In this lesson, we're gonna talk about MIDI mapping our Oakboard Mini to Taz Lite and Taz Pro. Now, you don't have to use this controller with either of those plugins, but when you do, the integration is, is just killer. It's very, very cool. And it's worth a reminder that when you purchase the Oakboard Mini, um, you do get Taz Lite for free. So it's an incredible, again, I think this is the reason this is the perfect MIDI controller for playback. Other thing I mentioned before you get into doing this is this does require um, Ableton Live Switch Suite, or at least a purchase version of Max for Live that you've added on to your version of Ableton Live. So let's go into Ableton Live. Um, I've got a folder here that I've just added by clicking Add Folder. It's on my desktop um, and it's called Taz Downloads. And within that folder, I have both Taz Lite and Taz Pro. So I'm going to go ahead and open Taz Lite and I'm just going to drop this anywhere in my set list. Okay. Um, I think for now, I'll probably just drop this on the master track. Okay. This is going to load in. We'll give it just a second. Again, as I mentioned, you do have to have Max or Live in order to use this. Um, and I can either run this in arrangement mode or session mode, or you can put it in auto and it will automatically detect. Now, I think more often than not, you're probably gonna use this in, uh, in arrangement mode. So what I'm gonna do is um, press tab, go over into arrangement mode, and let's talk about MIDI mapping this. So I'm gonna do Command M, just like we did before. As soon as we do that, you see all of these light up, all of these buttons light up. So let's click play um, on the uh, Oakboard Mini or excuse me, on uh, Taz Lite. Go to my overhead cam here and I'm gonna click play on this and I'll keep you back in Ableton Live and you can see that that's mapped. Okay, so play is mapped to play. Let's go to stop. We'll do the same thing. We'll press stop now. If I show you back in live that that is mapped to stop. Uh, let's go to previous and we'll go here. Okay, and that's mapped to previous. Now let's go to next. Okay, so I'm clicking that and then I'm gonna press it on here. I'll keep you in live and you see that that gets assigned. Now again, we do have those two other middle buttons here that we could assign. While we're here, let's just go ahead and assign them to reset um, and let's assign that to cue list, okay? So we're gonna go here, let's first do cue list, okay? Um, and I'm gonna click this. I actually have nothing in my cue list right now, but we'll click the button on the top here, okay? To assign that, that's assigned and then we'll hit reset and again press this bottom button and that's going to be assigned there. So now let's get out of mini map mode, stay in Ableton Live. Um, and we have uh, our locators here that we could jump around uh, and jump through. But by pressing next, okay, let's show you, um, we see that that's triggering. We can do previous and that's jumping to our previous locator. We could press play, that's gonna start playing Ableton Live. We can press stop to do that. Now, if I press Q list here, that's gonna open up our Q list. Again, I don't have any items loaded in right now. So let me actually add a few things. You can see we have this Taz separator here and we have a separate course where we dive into both Taz Lite and Taz Pro. But I'm gonna go ahead and, and rename this and we'll do this little star, um, do space and we'll call this a very creative name, song one. We'll do this star and call this song two. And then we'll go here, um, star, space in song three. So what's really cool about this, here's my cue list. I can do next, okay, and that's gonna jump through my songs, okay? And it's gonna take me to those locators, which is really nice, so previous, let's hit next here. And then I'm gonna press play, and I wanna show you, um, let's go back to our overhead cam, I'm gonna press play, and I'll take you back into Ableton Live. It's showing that that is playing now, okay, which is great. It's automatically gonna select song three, so then when I'm ready for song three, I can press play. It's gonna follow global quantization, which is set to one bar. Then it's gonna jump back to song three. Now, because of the tight integration of this, again, you, you don't have to use this pedal um, with, uh, with Taz Lite or Taz Pro. But if I press, again, remember this button up here, this, uh, this cue list button, I can press that and that's gonna close my cue list. So I get rid of that window or press this and that's gonna bring that back up. So I personally really like this feature. Um, I, I don't like having a layer between me and Ableton Live. I like seeing all of Ableton Live. And so being able to press, uh, again, being able to press this button to, to show and hide um, that cue list in Ableton Live, I, I think is a really, really great feature. So tons of really tight um, integration and connectivity between the Oakboard Mini and Taz Lite or Taz Pro. Now, if I'm using Taz Pro, just for the sake of showing you this, um, it's a really similar process. So we'll delete Taz Lite now. 
Um, in fact, it's the exact same process, but I'll just show you what this looks like. So I'm going to load Taz Pro in. Um, the difference here is we can actually hear our song names. It's going to play that out to us uh, and play that back. But again, I would just do Command M and I would do my mini mapping there to map cue list, uh, reset, stop, next, whatever I want there. So again, this is one of the things that I think makes um, the Oakboard Mini the perfect solution for playback. Use it standalone mapping to Ableton Live, or you can use it with Taz Lite or Taz Pro and the integration integration is is killer okay so in our next lesson let's talk about actually reprogramming the buttons um, on the oakboard mini and changing what buttons uh, the oakboard mini uh, what mini notes channels the oakboard mini sends